So we've been speculating about this for quite a while now. Speculating about the possibility of the Master Chief Collection coming to PC, and of course, Halo Reach being added to the Master Chief Collection, and during Inside Xbox today, it looks like both were announced. So not only will Halo Reach be going to the Master Chief Collection that you may already be playing on your Xbox, but the Master Chief Collection is also going to PC. Now there's a lot of information kind of being thrown around right now, and people are a bit confused as to how all this is gonna work, but as we know right now, the Master Chief Collection is at least going to start its uh, its journey to the PC this year. It's going to be happening in pieces, though. Now, this is the entire uh, page they put out on their Halo Waypoint site, so I'll leave a link to this down below if you want to read through it a bit more. But it is going to be going to Microsoft Store and Steam, which caught me a little off guard because Halo, from what I've ever seen, obviously on PC is a big deal. But previously, they always tied Halo to Windows generally. Like, for example, if you remember, like I do, when Halo 2 made its way to PC, you needed Windows Live, which with Vista was pretty bad. It was not fun to have to use, and people spent a lot of time trying to get around that. So that wasn't good, but it looks like they're going to give people a choice, whether it's Steam or on their Windows Store. So that's good, at least hear that. I was almost, I was half expecting to see an Epic Store logo pop up, but they decided, hey, we'll go with Steam. I'm curious if the Epic Store would have paid them some money. Either way, that's not happening. So let's kind of go down here. They also put out a nice little uh, uh, announcement trailer and everything there, which is really, really cool to see. Also really cool to see Halo Trend for something that's, uh, good on Twitter, so that's really cool to see as well. I mean, I remember when the Master Chief Collection first came out, it, I'm sure it trended then as well because it was pretty bad when it released, but what they've been able to do from launch to now is absolutely amazing. It is very exciting for Halo fans like myself to see this. So they talk at first about the Master Chief Collection with Reach. So the way this appears to be working with Halo Reach is they're going to take the multiplayer for it and just add it into the Master Chief Collection. So if you have the Master Chief Collection now, uh, they're going to add that in. But it sounds like the campaign and Firefight, I believe, is going to be separate. I know at least the campaign is kind of the way they've been talking about it here. They could kind of shift and moved on this as they go along, but it sounds like they're going to have the campaign as something you would buy separately as like an add-on. Now, uh, a little further with that, if you have Game Pass, you're just going to get everything added in. It's just part of the subscription. So if you have Game Pass, the campaign, uh, everything about Reach will be added in. But if you had purchased the Master Chief Collection and do not have Game Pass at this time, it'll just be something you would have to purchase separately. No pricing or release date has been uh, given on that. But you can, you can see that they talk about all kinds of stuff that's going to be happening with it. It appears 4K HDR, 60 frames per second, and everything is going to be a part uh, of Reach, which is really, really cool to see that. And they have Remembering Reach there. Uh, I didn't like the multiplayer, to be honest, with Reach as much, but I did enjoy the campaign because they told kind of the, the Fall of Reach's story, which is really cool to see, and people liked that. The book was very good for that, by the way. Uh, it's worth a read. But uh, it's interesting because they did also talk about PC. And this was the announcement that a lot of people were waiting for. Because this is like one of the last games, I think, at this point, that's left on Xbox. The Halo franchise. Because, uh, I mean, Sunset Overdrive is on PC now. What's left? Killer Instinct, maybe? I'm, I'm trying to think of what could be left after this. But uh, yeah, Halo straight up is moving over. Oh, Halo 5, I guess, the other one. Surprised they didn't talk about that. But maybe at some point, Halo... 5 will be added to the Master Chief Collection as it becomes Legacy with Infinite. Who knows? We'll see. But, but we have here with the PC. So, it appears that Halo Reach will be the first game that is made available on the PC. And then they're going to work chronologically from there. So, of course, they'll go with, uh, you know, Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST Campaign, and then Halo 4. Four. And they're going to do those in that chronological order as they become available, as they are satisfied with the development. So Halo Reach being the first one is an interesting uh, choice, I guess, because that's going to launch, I guess, together at the same time on PC and on Xbox. So they figure we'll do a joint launch with that. I feel like I would have rather seen something universally praised like Halo 2. Like, most people can agree that Halo 2 is when they really got moving with Halo. I liked Halo 3 the best, but even I, I can recognize the greatness of Halo 2, and I, I think that's the most universally accepted game from the series. 
I feel like they could have started with that and people would have been happy, but they're going to have to get Halo Reach, then Halo Combat Evolved, then you get to Halo 2, and then you get to Halo 3. So it could be, at this point, it might be next year that we see Halo 3, for example, on PC, but still, it's pretty awesome to see this. And they do talk about, okay, that they want to deliver a true first-class experience on PC, which tells me we would have several options, right, in in the settings. Uh, there'd be support, as they're saying, for X Xbox game pads and other PC controllers. Although, let's be real, most people on PC are going to use mouse and keyboard, as I mean, we would expect. So maybe they have other things in mind for that as well in some of the settings. But this is overall a really cool thing to see. It's exciting. And they also talk about how they are bringing some people in to help with this because most of the people at 343 are, of course, working on uh, Halo Infinite that has already passed the three-year cycle at this point for Halo. Generally, we get a Halo game every three years. Not happening with uh, Infinite. But they're actually bringing in uh, Splash Damage and Ruffian to, to help get this all done. It's a lot. I mean, think about what they're going to be doing with the Master Chief Collection moving over to PC with a ton of games. I mean, they're talking about everything when it comes to Forge and the theater. Basically, everything that you know of in Halo being brought over to PC. And think about how long it took them to get everything working on the Xbox, even with the 60 frames, the 4K HDR everything they're trying to do the whole thing on pc and that is very exciting so i am i am very happy I, like i said i wish they would have gone with something a bit different for the first game with reach and then that brings us to how are you going to get these on pc as in do you have game pass or do you have to buy them well as it stands now it appears that you're going to have to buy each one. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure how Game Pass is going to work on PC yet, as we don't we don't know anything about it yet. Uh, we do know that there is Play Anywhere that ties in with Game Pass. So if you already have a game on the Xbox through Game Pass and it's Play Anywhere, you can then go download it on PC. I don't know if that's going to be the same with Master Chief Collection, as we don't know if that's Play Anywhere yet. But... But if it is, you'll just be able to get it. Otherwise, you'll have to buy each one separately, it appears. So as Reach shows up, you'll buy that. As Halo 1 shows up, you can buy that. That'll also give you the option to, of course, uh, pick which one you want. Maybe you don't want Halo 1, you want Halo 2, or maybe you only want Halo 3, for example. You would buy the one that you want. So I'm going to be curious how we see that work out, considering the reason Master Chief Collection is so cool is because when you're playing, there are matchmaking game types that will pull from different playlists from the different games. You can say, I want to play Halo 3, 2, or 4, and you can pick a game, and then you can pick a playlist, and we'll do that. It's pretty cool. It jumps between the different games. It's pretty neat. So it'll be fun to see that show up on, on PC because, you know, people will be pushing these games visually and, and everything. Frame rates will be massive for some of these games. It'll be pretty cool to see overall how Halo finally jumps to PC without the limitations that we've had in the past. If you remember the first Halo, like I do, I played the first Halo on PC a lot. That was tied to uh, Game Spies. Uh, servers. I remember that. You had to go through that, and that was like shut down, and you can't really play them anymore, and it's a shame, but now we're going to see Halo finally hit PC with, it seems, no limits placed on it. Exciting stuff. No release date or anything yet, no pricing, but I will keep you guys up to date as we go forward, because we should see Halo Reach launch sometime this year, it sounds like, and that would be our first shot at full-on Halo on the PC. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this situation. I think a lot of you are excited, like I am, to see Halo and the Master Chief Collection hit the PC finally. Make sure you guys uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, and let me know which Halo game you would like to see come first to PC. We know it's Reach, but which one out of them is the one you would like to play on your PC. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.